Hello everyone, it's me Demetra Kay and I hope you're having a great day. So I want y'all to watch this video really quick of this very unfortunate situation that took place in Louisiana. Well, what we're told is that those stabbings allegedly took place around 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Police say Pettis Clow was arrested soon after that. Now that petition for custody was filed in April by the father. He described the environment that he says his kids were living in. Court documents filed in April show the children's father claimed Janae Pettisglow was not providing the two and four year olds a healthy and stable environment. His fears turned into reality this past weekend when officers say she stabbed both of her children, killing her four year old daughter. The two year old boy is still fighting for his life. Months before, their father also claimed she was under the influence of non prescription pills and only allowed him to see the children in her home. He was requesting visitation with the kids every weekend. Laura Canazaro Rodriguez is a lawyer who has worked with people who have pled insanity in the past. She says the act by the mother, accompanied by an Instagram video that appears to have been shared live by her after the stabbings, shows this could be heading in that direction. So as you saw there, it was a story of a mother by the name of Janine Pettisclow, 31 years old, decided to stab her two children due to a custody battle she was having with the father, Jermaine. Now they were supposed to go to court on the 18th of this month, but you know, clearly that will not be taking place. Now the father said that she called him on FaceTime after she had done what she did to the first child that she called him back again uh, in regards to the second child. And so from that point, he decided to rush over to the house he uh, tried to get in through the door. He could not, so he had to break a window. And inside, he had to wrestle another knife from Jenny. And then he scooped his babies up and took them to a nearby hospital where the three-year-old little girl did die. And the two-year-old son is in critical but stable condition. And so Jenny is being held on uh, attempted second-degree murder and second-degree murder in addition to some other charges. And so watch this video of her uh, blaming him for what she did. My children is dead. I'm done. I'm done with life. And it's all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. I'm done. So as you saw there, she was saying, you know, it's Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. Now, he also said that she was unstable and her living environment wasn't that great. Accuse her of taking drugs which is why he was filing for custody of the children. And it sounds like he was only trying to get weekends or something like that, but she did not want him to have that. And so I guess she decided that if she couldn't be in control and have the children all to herself, then nobody can. That's kind of what I take from it. Now, the part that's really messing me up is people are trying to paint this as a mental health thing, which it really could be that. But in a lot of cases, we see this a lot where the mother does not want the father to have any control of the custody of the children. And so oftentimes, as Jermaine accused her of doing, they try to keep the children from the father. And so I don't know necessarily what was going on with her, but to me, it sounds like another case of I cannot get my way. And so I am going to do the unthinkable, but I do want to throw this in here. I do think you have to be off a little bit in your head uh, to do something like that. Although the father is saying that she was under the influence of some sort of non-prescriptive drugs. And so maybe that played a part in it, but I want to say this to you fellas, be careful of who you have children with, because it sounds like Janie had some issues in the past with being a criminal from 2011. Now the children uh, are and were not that old. And so I'm not saying he should have did a background check. Although if that's what you want to do, you know, to make sure you're not dating somebody who has issues. Yeah, you should do that. So men, you know, I know y'all have an uphill battle a lot with trying to get custody of your children uh, from women like that. And there's a lot of women out there who just are controlling and do not want you to have absolutely anything to do with your children. A lot of times women are scorned because maybe you're seeing somebody else or you just flat out don't want to be with them. And so the children become ransom or a pawn to have you act as a puppet. And so in this situation, they're saying it's mental health. I don't know. I'm not a mental health professional, but I would say in cases that I've seen before, a lot of times it's just a case of control. So anyway, 
RIP to that baby and speedy recovery to her brother and, you know, much love and prayer to the father for having to deal with that and everybody else who's in the family who has to deal with the loss of those two babies. And, you know, if Janine is suffering mentally, hopefully she'll get some help behind bars. So y'all tell me what you think of this story. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel, like the video and think about becoming a member. I would love to have you here. Peace.